Okay, so now that we have the metal portion um, pretty much finished out and what we're going to go ahead and do, now it's time to go ahead and start working on the camera portion of the phone. Okay, so let's just go ahead and add all this stuff to the metal portion layer here and let's go ahead and bring our faces back in. And what I want to go ahead and do here first is delete this um, faces or the body from the faces layer here. Okay, so let's jump into our front view here and let's go ahead and switch out our image plane from the front to the back here. Okay, and you can see where that brings in our back image plane here. And right away, you're going to be saying to yourself, well, how am I going to go ahead and basically model the camera in here? And the easiest way I think that we can go ahead and do this is just simply bring in a polygon pipe. Okay. And let's just draw that out here. And let's go ahead and draw the rest of this out here. And we simply just need to go ahead and... Okay, there we have it basically drawn out in, in the thickness here. But if we go ahead and look in the poly pipe dimensions here, we have a subdivision axis of 20, which in order for us to actually add 20 different edge loops here for us to go ahead and make this just isn't going to be feasible. So we have to think to ourselves, well, how am I going to go ahead and add... Um, this to the the actual iPhone body in a way that it's going to be easy for us to go ahead and actually make those um, vertices match up easily or what's going to be the easiest way for us to do that and the easiest way for us to go ahead and do that is just add a subdivision axis of eight and this way we only need to place four faces for the camera to actually be cut in here so with that eight actually um, with that eight put on the polygon pipe we're just going to go ahead and delete faces here and I'm deleting everything but the the top as you can see and I'm just going to go ahead and center the pivot there freeze the transformations and delete the history on it and I'm going to go ahead and place this um, as close as I can there okay and I want to go ahead and try and place this where it should be here and that should be good but we also need to go ahead and duplicate that and I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down here to place in for this other one okay so now that we have these basically placed in all we really um, need to go ahead and do here is just simply start shaping some vertices so let's just go ahead and select the vertice and I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard and this is basically gonna allow me to snap to each vert here okay so let's go ahead and start snapping here and we just need to make sure that we sort of line all these vertices up correctly okay and I grabbed too many there and I'm just trying to sort of be mindful of how I actually want to go ahead and place these okay and just trying to be careful that I don't sort of um, give myself any geometry that's sort of going to pinch what I'm doing, okay? And we just need to make sure that we, you know, make sure we snap all these verts properly. And you can see right away where we have um, a decent portion already added in. So we just simply need to start adding some some extra edge loops here, and we definitely need to add one here, um, one here on this side as well. And we'll just, you know. Like I said before, just grab some vertices and basically just start snapping these to each other. Grab these ones, grab these ones, grab these ones and basically snap them. And you can see where these are all pretty much snapped together. And we also need to go ahead and add an our edge loop here so that we can snap these ones. And I want to try and straighten these out as much as possible. The key is you don't really want to have any like malformed geometry and any geometry that just doesn't like even up. You sort of want to keep 
um, your, your lines as straight as possible and your lines as even as possible. So let's go ahead and snap this last one here. Okay, now you can see where these are basically all going to be cut in properly and in a way that's going to give us the ability to have a, a really clean geometric cut in. So let's go ahead and select some faces here and we'll go ahead and delete these off and we all we really need to do now is just simply combine all these okay just mesh combine and we simply just need to oops merge verts here so let's just go ahead and select this and just making sure that I get these all properly lined up okay and just do the same thing here on the other side okay and now that those are all pretty much lined up let's just go ahead and select all of these and I'm not selecting that one so we'll just go ahead and merge these and that's just under the edit mesh menu um, you can see right here about three quarters of the way down merge but I simply just made a shelf shortcut for it so I'll go ahead and merge those and you can see where those are all merged fairly well and if I hit three on my keyboard you can see where the geometry is basically not um, smoothing correctly and so I want to go ahead and add an extra edge loop here and I'll just go ahead and flatten this out okay and that's looking fine and I'll just go ahead and add one here right in the middle just making sure that this is going to even out as well and I'm also going to add one here on the other side just to try to keep it even as or as even as I can okay and you can see that that's now going to be um, fairly fairly good looking and so let's just go ahead and start adding the detail here for the back and we need to basically just go ahead and select all the faces on the back here which are going to be just like that and it's easier to go ahead and select that in the side view rather than in this in the perspective view because it's just e um, easier to go ahead and line up and now I'm just going to go ahead and deselect this row of faces here just making sure that I can deselect this properly okay and that didn't work okay so do this one and do that one and try to get that all the way around as you can see there it does okay so now I want to go ahead and add sort of like a, a beveled edge here and the easiest way for me to go ahead and do that is I'm just going to simply grab the extrude tool and I'll go ahead and extrude this in just a little bit not too much um, that should be fine as you can see there that's going to give us a little bit of a beveled edge and that's what I want but doing that you can see where we're going to have some faces that are basically going to be um, off so we'll just go ahead and select that entire row of faces there and we'll do the same thing here for the other one and just delete those off and now you can see where we have a good portion of our camera and, and ready to go ahead and start making the inserts and the insides of our camera here okay so let's go ahead and just adjust this vertice a little bit so I can make sure that that's straightened out and just making sure that that edge loop is going to run fine and that's okay okay I'm just double checking geometry here okay so let's go ahead and start making our camera inserts and we can just go ahead and model one and then we'll just simply duplicate it over for the other one here so let's go ahead and just extrude this in okay we'll extrude down okay. extrude in again and I'll 
extrude down, extrude to close it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead here and fill the hole, grab the face. I'm going to poke that face so it's going to be quad geometry, as you can see there. Okay, and now I'll just simply um, duplicate some of these faces off. Okay, deselect the body of the iPhone here. I'm going to go ahead and center the pivot. And I'm going to extrude. And I'm basically just going to extrude in. Okay. I'm also going to duplicate these faces off. Just going to be try to be a little careful here of how I go ahead and select this. And I'm just going to use my magic wand tool or the lasso selection tool. And we'll go ahead and select that entire block of faces there. Just making sure that I don't select anything else. Okay. And we will go ahead and extract that. And you can see where that's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and duplicate these phases here. Or we're just simply going to go ahead and extract them. Okay, so let's just come up to mesh, extract. And this is going to be the metal portion that we need. Okay, so I want to go ahead here and center the pivot and I'm just going to move it out a little bit. And I'm just going to select the entire border edge here. Just extrude it back so it has at least some thickness to it. I added a, an edge loop here on the front just pull that out a little bit so we have a little bit of a bevel and I'll add some edge loops here for it to maintain that shape okay and I'm also going to go ahead here and pull this face in just making sure that there's not going to be any like light sensitive holes here and I need to go ahead and add an edge loop there and add one there one there as you can see there okay and I just need to go ahead and start adding some edge loops for this as well and do this for the metal piece here. Okay, and you can see where there where we have a a good portion of our camera basically blocked in. So now I'm going to go ahead here and just add the the lens piece, and we can simply just go ahead and create a polygon sphere here, and we'll go back into our front view and basically just try to line that up and 20 subdivisions is probably just a little bit too high so let's go with 12 and 12 should be good enough to give us enough resolution to go ahead and smooth let's go ahead and just delete half of this and we'll go ahead and scale this down a little bit here as you can see here okay and then we'll center the pivot and we will go ahead and place this as you can see there that's looking looking fine but we also need to um, add a glass material in front of this okay so I want to go ahead and scale this down just a little bit more here and then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it I'm gonna move it out and just scale it up so we have what is a glass material there and basically just flatten it out and I'm also going to move this out just a little bit more there okay and I'm going to go ahead and add some edge loops for this that way whenever I go to smooth it it's not going to basically smooth weird as you can see there Let's go ahead and add an edge loop or two for 
the back portion here. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and double click to select that entire edge. And pull that out just a touch, not too much. So it gives us a little bit better um, bevel and shape. Let's go ahead and select that entire camera portion there. And you can see that I selected the front camera there. Okay, and then we'll group that, center the pivot and freeze the transformations. And let's just go ahead and duplicate this over. Okay, going back into our front view here. Try to get this in the middle. And we will just go ahead and scale this down so that it fits inside this hole. As you can see here. And we'll go ahead and pull this out. And there you can see we have the back portion of our iPhone and you can see where there's a little bit of geometry misplacement there so go ahead and move that over a little bit and just scale it up just a little bit more and that's okay let's go ahead and just push this back just a little bit more and there we go you can see where we have our cameras pretty much blocked into our iPhone and in the next lesson we'll come back and start working on the on the bottom here